So finally, we're gonna look at how to ensure that the pressure in the calf is adequate for um, maintaining that tight seal, avoiding, uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, any secretions to come down and get aspirated any gastric content to come up, reflux, and get into aspirated into the lungs, but also to provide a tight seal um, that it will allow for a normal ventilation, for a mechanical ventilation to be effective. The um, calf pressure manometer is a one single piece, uh, so nothing get dismantled, and uh, it is, uh, as you can see, a manometer similar to the blood pressure one but on the side has got one single opening that it will be connected to the ET2 cuff. And on the other side, it has a red button, which it will allow you to release pressure, only release pressure, if the pressure once connected to the tube is above 30 millimeters of mercury. Gently inflate by squeezing the back underneath because it's a mannequin you might not get a pressure can you see how the pressure has gone up i'm mimicking with my finger the calf so if we release pressure oh, okay so, yeah there you go again and so as you can see the bottom is quite responsive so in a normal ventilated patient you will see that um, needle oscillating between the inspiration and the expiration. In this particular case, because it's my finger acting as the calf, you won't see any fluctuation of the needle. 